All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel with another heads up video. Some transparency for a lot of you guys out there. I want to bring this to your attention. At times, you guys, I don't care whether it's an Apollo, Tau Tau, Coolster, SSR, you know, you receive as a dealer that we're a brick and mortar dealer over here. These will arrive brand new in the box, right? But we had four of these Apollos, you guys, that did not start at all. Right out of the box, we did the PDI. Anyways, would not start. So we did the whole, you know, troubleshooting thing on these. Check fuel delivery, you know, our diagnostic, etc. Well, fuel was fine. So we checked the electrical. Well, there is no electrical spark. So because we've done this numerous times, we have an idea perhaps what could go wrong with these. And again, it's not picking on Apollo. It's just a matter of letting you guys know out there. This is particularly for you guys that order online or like to save a, a dollar, you know, or a few bucks. I always recommend going to your local dealer because all this has been done already. You guys just go in there and you write out in minutes, load up in minutes. So always find, make sure you have a local dealer. You pay a little bit more, but you're paying for service and they're all professionally set up. So going back to this, you guys. We found two CDI boxes defective, as well as uh, the plugs were not connected properly and had loose wires. And I want to show you the CDI boxes on the Apollo brand, you guys. Let's take a look over here. You'll see this white plug right here. That right there, you guys. That's your plug to the CDI box. And this black right here, this right here is the CDI box. So we had two defective CDI boxes and the wires weren't connected properly. Again, this happened from the factory. So you're gonna say, well, what happened to quality control? Well, we don't know, but this is the kind of stuff that, can, that you can expect from time to time. Now, as a local brick and mortar dealer, of course, we handled it. We took care of this. We don't get reimbursed by Apollo whatsoever. That's not how it works with these particular franchises when you're a brick and mortar dealer. Now, most of the dealers that are online and all they are is just an office taking an order and after you purchase it generally speaking you're not going to have much after sales support so you pay a little less but then there's a lot of expectation on you as the consumer always read the small print on their websites you know if you have a problem like this you're doing it you're going to have to figure it out so we'd like to share this with you guys so you guys can go right to it not waste some time and get out there and start writing the whole purpose of buying this is to start writing you guys that's the whole idea of so that's why we want to share this for uh, with you because we have four of these units brand new in the box now whether it's Apollo Tau Tau we've been dealing with Tau Tau 2 Tau Tau 2 has had their share of of quality control issues as well and as a brick and mortar dealer we have to deal with it make sure these are up and running nice and tight and again once again you guys we do not get reimbursed for our labor and our time to figure this stuff out if uh, you purchase this online read the small print because you are accountable and responsible that online dealer it's not going to reimburse you for anything because, again, read the small print at the checkout. You're responsible. So you pay a little less, but then you take a lot more accountability, you guys. So keep that in mind. As well as you got to handle the packaging, the shipping. You got to wait for the shipping. You got to do all the setup and so forth, so forth. And if you're not experienced, you're not going to know where to go or what to do. You're going to be on the phone. You're going to be frustrated and so forth. So I'd like to share this with you guys out there, particularly those that order online, whether it's an online business uh, that sell these out there or you're buying them on Amazon. Same stuff, you guys. Same stuff. So keep that in mind. Again, your CDI box, as you can see up here, that's your CDI over there. Plug in all your boxes under here. Check that out. If you guys run into this, again, four brand new units. We ran into this. No spark. We figured it out. Got them up and running. And there you have it. If you guys like this sort of content, like, comment, and subscribe. Always want to share this with you guys out there. Provide as much transparency so you know. A lot of you guys are, are new to ordering these online and setting them up. But this is what you can expect at times. So if you have a local dealer, go to your local dealer. If not... Order online. Again, you only save a little bit, you guys. Only. Sometimes it's not worth that frustration. Particularly if you're a busy person and uh, you don't have time for all this nonsense. It could definitely be frustrating. So we've had numerous bikes in our shop from customers locally here in Reno that purchased stuff online and they brought it here. And, and anyways, long story short, we got it going, got it running. They couldn't figure it out and uh, couldn't ride it for weeks because... Uh, 
They couldn't figure out what was going on. And then the after sale support from whichever online dealer I purchased it from, they were non-existent. And they end up spending $5 to save a dollar. So hope you guys find this well. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys soon. Take care.